Morning, everyone. And that, my friends, is how you get a mountain bike in the back of a BMW 3 Series. Next stop, five and a half hours, Eastbourne. Start of the South Downs Way. See you all in a little while. Morning, guys. Just a very quick on the move catch up. And hello from the A1M. I think today must officially be the day upon which the entire country is on the move. I've never seen so many cars and camper vans and cars towing caravans and camper vans towing cars. I've never seen so much traffic on the road. Uh, but today is uh, May the 17th and today is the day that we have officially been set free. But uh, I think we should enjoy our freedom but also tread cautiously. Um, says he on the move. Anyway, just a very quick catch up from the A1. I'm about an hour and 40 minutes into my journey now. Uh, I'm on my way to Eastbourne and it's a simple task today. Get to Eastbourne safely and in one piece. I would normally smash out a journey like this in one go, but um, it, it's a good sort of five and a half hours, uh, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna have a couple of breaks and a couple of stops along the way. But it's really just a case of get into Eastbourne today, get checked in to uh, Jeeves House, which is where I'm staying tonight. It's um, like a little sort of boutique bed and breakfast right on the seafront uh, in Eastbourne. So I'm looking forward to getting there, get checked in, check my kit, make sure I've got everything that I need for my journey and um, get my head down after a good, uh, a good belly full of food. So um, when I stop again, which will probably be when I'm officially in the south, probably South Mims, I'm thinking. Uh, I'll catch up with you all again. I'll tell you a little bit more about my plans for the next few days. But in the meantime, uh, I'm heading towards Blythe Services. So that gives you an idea of how much of the journey I've covered so far to Eastbourne, but also how much of the journey I've still got to do. So anyway, guys, stay safe, take care, enjoy this Monday. Uh, make it a magic Monday if you can, and um, I'll catch up with you all in a little while. Monday you go. So guys, that is a welcome sight indeed. 98 miles to go until I get to London, although I'm not going to London. But uh, what that means to me is it's about 80 miles, roughly, give or take, uh, until I get to South Mims. So unless I really feel the need to do so, I'm gonna push on to South Mims, where I'm gonna stop and grab a bite to eat and a coffee and uh, check in on some work emails and stuff and uh, see what's been going on while I've been driving. But uh, still plenty of traffic on the road, but it's fluid, it's moving well. No holdups so far, fingers crossed. So uh, good journey so far. I'm really not sure though today who is running the country because still camper vans, caravans, the country seems to have just called a national vacation today. And I, I kind of get it after all the uh, restrictions that have been uh, forced upon us necessarily though over the last, uh, the last year or so. So let's hope the journey continues as it uh, has done so far. We're making good progress. Just under 100 miles to London and uh, South Mims will be my stop. So uh, unless I start getting a little bit dozy and feel the need to stop for whatever reason. So we'll push on South Mims and um, catch you all in a short while. So guys, we're still going less than 60 miles to go until we reach London now. So super excited broken the back of the journey to the south which is great obviously once I get to South Mims I've still got the journey from South Mims down to Eastbourne but uh, that will be familiar territory for me also around the M25 uh, over the QE2 bridge but um, I've just driven through the most torrential downpour in fact it, it was borderline dangerous I ended up aquaplaning across two lanes the visibility was so poor I was cautiously driving at about 50 miles an hour uh, the visibility was so poor I couldn't see just how flooded the road ahead of me was. Um, ended up going across two lanes. Uh, I'm a confident driver so I knew how to deal with that situation but 
for some it could have been an absolute disaster but fortunately there was uh, nothing in the right hand lane to, to my right so we got through that but uh, anyway we've driven through torrential rain we're now in Bedfordshire um, heading towards South Mims and ultimately heading for Eastbourne to start my South Downs Way mountain bike ride 100 miles in three days Eastbourne to Truly Hill, Truly Hill to Cockin, Cockin to Winchester. It's going to be a challenge. I'm just hoping that uh, the rain stays away from the south coast for the next 24 hours. And I'm hoping that the weather is kind to me over Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So, uh, fingers crossed. So guys, I hope you're all safe and well. The sun has come out. We're driving through blue sky again now, which is lovely. It's nice and warm. It's, uh, it's 12 and a half degrees. Uh, heading down through um, Bedfordshire today. I'll soon be driving through Stevenage, my uh, my birthplace and former stomping ground. And I'm actually stopping off in Stevenage on my way back on Friday to catch up with some school buddies and uh, drinking pals. So that should be a nice night out in St. Evanage with the old school. So anyway, guys, I'm going to push on and uh, I'll probably catch up with you when I arrive at South Mims. But I hope you're all having a great day today and um, take care and I'll see you all soon. One day you go. So guys, just arrived at South Mims Services, A1 M25 Junction, and it is bang on two o'clock. So we've not done too bad. I'm hoping to get down to Eastbourne by four o'clock, maybe half past four, that would be sweet. So I'm gonna head inside the food court. I can see Burger King, I can see Subway, I can see Pizza Express as well. So. Spoilt for choice, I'm going to quickly catch up with a few emails uh, from work and stuff so that I don't arrive in Eastbourne with uh, a shed load of stuff to deal with because I've got stuff to sort out when I get there. So, ETA, 4 o'clock, 4.30, just arrived in South Mims, so far so good and uh, I'll catch up with you all in a short while. Hope you're all having a magic Monday. Monday you go. So guys, that's uh, South Mims in the bag. I've left the A1 now. I'm on the M25 going anti-clockwise, heading round towards the A10. Then eventually over the QE2 bridge, over the Thames, arrive safely south of the river. Carry on round the M25 till I get to the A21, I believe. Head down in the general direction of Battle and Hastings and then cut across to Eastbourne. Uh, ETA is about 5.30 now, maybe 5.15, which was kind of what I planned. A little bit behind schedule, but we'll arrive safely and in daylight, which is the main thing, fingers crossed. And uh, when I get there, I'll have a little recce around Eastbourne, see what's going on, get checked into um, my comm for the night, sort my kit out for tomorrow, Make sure I've got everything I need for the next three days riding. Probably have a little walk along the beach as well, see what's going on there. Uh, take some photos, which I'll obviously share with you guys, maybe create some more vids for this content as well. So we're, um, we're going through a tunnel now actually, so apologies if it's gone a little bit dark. <clears throat> I think this is um, part of the A10, I think the A10 is, is running above us now, uh, around by sort of Chesant Way, that sort of way, Enfield and Chesant. So. Quite a nice little ambience as we come out there we go so uh, it's dry down here um, the only problem is though the general direction which I'm heading uh, the sky is as black as the ace of spades so the weather at the moment is not looking great but um, we'll see what happens over the next 24 hours I don't set off on my South Downs Way bike ride until tomorrow so hopefully any rain which is lingering around down on the south coast will uh, will wash itself out and we'll be uh, treated to some sunshine and blue sky which would be nice so anyway I'm gonna keep this short guys because uh, I'm on a four lane section of the M25 uh, I need to be concentrating so I'll uh, catch up with you all possibly when we get the other side of the river so mind there you go have a good afternoon watch you guys we are safely round the M25 over the QE2 bridge. That was an experience. I haven't um, I haven't driven around the M25 for years. I used to I used to live on the M25 in fact when I worked for the large corporate estate agencies. I was 
constantly on the M25 and the A1 and the M1 and the A4 and the A3. So it's quite an experience. Um, I'm a very confident driver, but I actually found it a little bit nervy. Four lanes of vehicles all moving at like 60 and 70 mile an hour. Uh, it, it was like a game of Mario Karts. And um, to my surprise, the, uh, the crossing at Dartford, the QE2, is now online payment. So I, I remember the days when you had to drive up to the little gantry and there was a plastic bucket and you had to lob your money in the plastic bucket to pay the toll to lift the barrier. Well, that's all gone now. It's all uh, AMPR, automatic number plate recognition. So apparently when I get to Eastbourne or, or somewhere, with internet, I've got to log on and pay my uh, my toll, my Dart toll. So uh, interesting stuff. But anyway, we're almost on the outskirts of Hastings now. We're on the A21, heading down towards Hastings, and then eventually we'll kick off a, a dog leg and head across to Eastbourne. So slightly slower going now. We're about 16 miles just outside Hastings, but you can tell that um, you know the countryside has changed clearly no longer in North Yorkshire and just to give you a heads up I've gone through North Yorkshire through Lincoln down through Bedfordshire Cambridgeshire through Hertfordshire fringes of Essex around the M25 over the River Thames down towards Bromley down on the A21 and uh, yeah we are clearly heading towards the south coast you can tell that the architecture and the general vibe uh, is changing so it's nice um, the weather is still very hit and miss though, I'm still heading towards black as the ace of spades clouds down on the east coast, so the south coast, but um, it's what it is. So I've made the journey, I've decided to do the trip and we just need to suck it up whether the weather is good or bad. So we will see when we get there though. So anyway, I'm going to sign off guys and probably catch up with you when I arrive in Eastbourne. I've already phoned through to my hotel to let them know that I'll be arriving roughly around five o'clock-ish. So um, uh, we'll go on to Satnav soon once we get nearer, uh, just to, to guide me in, because I haven't been down here for many, many, many years. I know the area quite well from my uh, regional estate agency days, but once I actually get into Eastbourne, uh, I will have no idea where my accommodation for the night is. So uh, anyway, guys, I will catch up with you all soon, more than likely when I arrive in uh, not so sunny Eastbourne and uh, fingers crossed it won't be too long now so I will see you all a bit later mind there you go Hi guys and welcome to Eastbourne Finally made it after nearly six hours of driving from North Yorkshire to get to Eastbourne. So here we are, let me show you around. It's quite breezy down on the beach. Let me give you a little 360 degree pano of where I am. So this is Eastbourne, behind me there is the English Channel. Isn't that lovely? So we made it in one piece. I've checked into Jive's house, which is where I'm staying this evening. Earlier, I actually called it Jeeves' house. I do apologize, it's actually Jive's house. It does make you wonder what sort of shenanigans are gonna be going on at Jive's house later tonight after a few bevies, but uh, I can assure you not a lot for two reasons. One, I'm going to bed early because I've got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. And two, I'm the only person staying there because it's their first day open after COVID restrictions have been lifted. So my plan for this evening, guys, is to have a little check around Eastbourne, close proximity to where I am, find somewhere to hang out for an hour or so, maybe catch a few drinks and a bite to eat, and uh, catch up on some work bits before getting an early night and uh, heading off on my journey along the South Downs Way by mountain bike. Eastbourne to Winchester, by the way, guys, 100 miles in three days. Let's bring this challenge on head to head finally with one of my long distance cycle challenges that I've always wanted to do for many, 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 many years. Starts tomorrow, Eastbourne to Winchester, 100 miles. So, it's just started to rain again, guys, and it's been raining on and off all day today. And I'm hoping, hoping that the rain is gonna hold off for tomorrow. I'm setting off early tomorrow because there is rain coming in at about two o'clock. 
maybe three o'clock tomorrow and I want to make it to Truly Hill before the rain starts. I really want to get tomorrow's stage done in the dry. I don't want to spend uh, the latter part of the day drying out like a drowned rat and getting my bike clean ready for the following day. So I'm going to sign off now and uh, I'll catch you all in a little while. So take care my friends and stay safe won't you?